All right, so we want to start. With, all right, so let me ask y'all a question about WandaVision. Did y'all like the whole series? Hell yeah. Yes. What about you? All right, so you want a, do you want a more elaborate answer than that? No, 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 no. What what I want to say, where I'm going to go with it, I want to go in a, I want to go in a direction of what you didn't like about the series. What you didn't like about the series? Is there anything that you didn't like, Andre? I'm gonna start, Andre. Spoiler, spoiler I alert think first. that the, the common complaint. Yeah, yeah. Let, let, let's get into the spoiler alert here. Um, the common complaint about some of the setups that we thought were gonna lead to like some big surprise cameos, and right. they didn't happen. Right. But. Uh, at the same time, there's only one thing that really annoyed me. The rest of it, I feel like, for the long term, it's setting up for bigger things. Okay. What about you? What about you, Rockstar? What What you didn't like about WandaVision? Yeah, right, spoiler warnings for anybody who hasn't seen the series yet, but by now you should have. Mm-hmm. The whole thing about the guy Ralph. I, I was so upset when we finally got to find out who Ralph was and then who the alternate Quicksilver was. I, I agree. I See, that's what I was going to say, too. That's one of the, my main things that I didn't like about WandaVision. I think that's the only thing I didn't like about WandaVision. I didn't like that they did not make his character more like they didn't explore the multiverse with him i don't know like it's it's one of those things where it's like it was like why even put him in there like i know that it was kind of like a they know that the the core fans are gonna know where he's from the fox universe right but at the end of the day like we all wanted it you know wanted it to connect in some way give us a like a, a a thread of they gave us nothing yeah give us something like to let us know that we're gonna get the X Men sooner or later, you know what I'm saying? Well, well, I think with the Marvel with the Marvel universe that we are going to get X Men. But you see, super I, I you know that doesn't bother me as much. It it didn't bother me as much because there was also that other setup that they talked about with, with the, the FBI agent that Randall Park played, where they yeah. said that there's who's under witness protection. So there's still another like secret about this guy as far as okay they say he's an actor but how do we know like he's somebody else entirely that they're looking for so I, I think there's still something else going on what upset me more was the whole thing with the um the space engineer guy that um you know that Monica Rambo wanted, wanted to call and everybody's like no we're gonna handle this. And everybody's thinking it's Reed Richard. And then all of a sudden, a few episodes in, it's like a totally different character. It was a complete nobody. Yeah, that was a that was the it was a real dud with that one too. That was that dumb. Was a, I wasn't. I, I didn't. You know yeah. what? In my mind, I did not think it was that. I didn't think that they were gonna like. I didn't think it was anybody else. It was just like the internet going wild saying, oh, it's somebody else. But I the the, the Ralph thing really got me mad because I really like this guy as um Quicksilver. So it was like, you know, when they dumbed it down, it kinda like it you know, and to and, and on top of that to name him Ralph Boner, it was like it's it was just like all the lack love. <laughs> it was kinda like a slap in the face, and it's like they didn't have to go that route, you know what I'm saying? They didn't have to at all. No, oh, shit. I'm doing the wrong thing. <laughs> they they could have left that out. They could have left it out. It was. It, they didn't it was have one of them. to go the route, but but I still think it, it's gonna still set up probably by strange the whole multiverse business. So, so you, think, you think they'll I think circle? Just have you fix over there. You think they'll yeah, circle? Yeah, I think it's gonna around. come full circle. Okay. okay. I, I, I yeah. hope they address this bunny. Because I, I don't think they're doing acts either. From what I heard... That's, that's true. That there was supposed to be there. I heard that there was like some deleted scenes, right? There were deleted scenes yeah. and that they were trying to say something like how the bunny that, that they, um somebody was going to fight the, the, the rabbit. 
<laughs> something like that in the house or some shit like that. Did you hear about that? Some, some crazy, some crazy. Yeah, the, the rabbit was supposed to be like some crazy demon creature, mm-hmm. but then yeah. they cut it out the last minute. Yeah, but I see why they can't do it because then that'll leak off into whatever's going on into um, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. And whatever they do here, it has to stick to that movie. But the, yeah, you're yeah. right. What do you think about the post credit? The post credit um, at the end with her going into her astro self. That, that was amazing. That yeah. was like uh-huh. that was like the first first official time other than Doctor Strange that you've seen somebody in the MCU use an astral plane. Yeah. I thought that was... It gives you more... It gives you more um, Easter eggs down the line that you're going to see X-Men sooner or later. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to get Mephisto, you're going to get the X-Men. You think they're going to do Mephisto? Because you know that that they've they've been saying that Mephisto is a... You know why they're going to do Mephisto? Because in the post credit scene when you hear her kids screaming, yeah, I did hear that. And you know they're and you know they're in hell. But they said that book open. But they said that the rights in China, like or something like that, the rights like China doesn't like the devil or something like that, and they can't really like um show characters like that. Right. Did you, you hear about ways that? around that? I did hear about that, but I, I think creative enough to kind of get around those type of issues. Because they want to bring a Ghost Rider at some point. Wouldn't Ghost Rider be kind of too demonic for Chinese audiences? Yeah, Ghost Rider is supposed to pop up in the um, Doctor Strange movie also. But then it gets me to wonder, did, did they ever show Ghost Rider in any of the um, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. episodes in China? I don't know. I don't know if it was even broadcast out there. Was it? I think so. Yeah, I don't know either. Because he had an entire season. Yeah, no, I that was one of the best seasons when he was in it. It was kind of fire. Yeah, and the no, dark hole, like the dark hole, the dark hole was in that one, and dark hole is completely different in in one yep. division. Um, it's the same. Yeah, thing. they like totally didn't even acknowledge the show. Yeah. Yeah, they try to separate Agents of Shield from the rest of the MCU. That's a Josh Sweden, um, Josh Sweden on creation too. You know that, right? Josh, Josh, yeah. Saying his, yeah, him and his brother, Josh Sweden. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna talk about Josh later, but um, <laughs> yeah. Um, for the most part, I enjoyed Wandavision. It made me it made me feel like I was um I wasn't in twenty 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 one. Sorry, and I wasn't I I didn't have shows to. It, it it brought me back to being a kid to like wanted to watch TV on a certain day, you know, like uh, it wasn't, uh-huh. you know, because I I really was like fiend out to like say, oh, I gotta gotta watch WandaVision. I would wake up in the middle of the night to go and watch it at three when it posts Thursday um, Thursday night Friday morning, crazy. But um, I think Disney's doing the thing with that, um. They were talking about sequels to it, but I don't think that I don't think that they could do a, a, another another season to this. It makes no sense. Like I don't. This is a one deal. Yeah, and with the whole it's white vision, the whole white vision scene, it looks like um, that's gonna play out too in some 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 other shape or form. Did I don't. You, think, did you like the white vision? I think it was cool. It was cool. It was cool. It was. It wasn't over the top. I like how Vision tricked him, like you know, by by giving him a um, a problem for him to solve. That was really smart. Um, for the most part, I wanted to see the kids get busy a little bit more, though. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to see the kids. But they can't get. They were mixing a lot of stories in one division. Yeah, it was overlapping. Like, that, was, that was the house of M, but kind of in reverse because she was creating mutants for whoever passed through the hex. Yeah, the storyline was the story storyline was pretty pretty cool too because you know she has chaos power and chaos can just make anything and it just makes sense. It makes sense um, of you know everything happening in the storyline, but 
I'm eager to see Doctor Strange. I feel like the fact I, that they said she is stronger than the Sorcerer Supreme. Yeah, you know this is going to be a good movie coming up. And they said that this movie, yeah, this movie, Sam Raimi. I mean, it's gonna yes. <laughs> this happened. This happened before the events of um, Spider Man. So I had that hunch. I t- I had said it to Andre before. I said uh, for the new Spider Man, for the new Spider Man, or the one with with him and Mysterio. The one with him and Mysterio. This 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 um, one division. So, so this was before that. Yeah. It takes place before that. So, so, that, so that Monica Rambeau goes to see Nick Fury before we see Nick Fury right. up at the end of um, Spot. Exactly. Yeah. The, yeah, and the swordship. Swordship, yeah. So I had this theory that the multiverse is already happening because not only this Ralph Boner shit, but um, John Jameson. John J. Jameson or whatever his name is. J. J. Jonah Jameson? J. Jonah yeah. Jameson. That's that guy. He was he appeared in um he appeared in um in Spider Man. In Far yeah. From Home at the end. Yeah. Yeah. So that and he's from another universe as well. So that's why I thought this whole WandaVision thing was like gonna expose the the multi is it it's not the it's the multiverse, right? Am I saying that right? I don't wanna mix it up with D C shit. Yeah, it's multiverse. Multiverse, yeah. Because they call it something else in the no, they got the multiverse, but theirs was like crisis on infinite. Yeah, it's crisis shit. All right. Yeah, but I don't know. I don't know. Like, I feel like they have a plan, but I do think that there's too much going on so far. We're we gonna get into that I, later. I, like, there's I a lot. Of, gonna, I don't I know. Don't how to, see anything from the multiverse until the Loki series. Yes. Hey, yes. That's gonna look. That's true. That's gonna be good. The, Lo- the Loki series is gonna be. Or, or if not the Loki series, then by the end of Falcon and Winter Soldier, you're gonna get a glimpse of it. All right. So, y'all got anything else y'all want to say about One Division? Because that was pretty like. Yeah, man, that show was dope. You know why the show was dope? Because if you have kids or younger people that watch that show. Some of them have no idea where the references from those first four episodes came from. I know. And I know. they take Yeah, I love all throwbacks to all the classic hottest, shows. They take from the hottest shows from those times. Yeah. It did it and 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 it, and it made it it gave it, you know, it, it was kind of cool because of the fact that Disney starting their streaming service off the right way, even though they did Mandalorian. The Mandalorian was a whole nother story, but it's like the the Marvel Marvel Universe finally doing TV the right way, and it's Wanda Vision, Wanda's Vision, and it, 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 was, it was so much play on words, so much different puns in there, and the TV represents their streaming, and it's it it it, it, it was really it's really cool how they did it, and then they. They paid homage to all the old shows. It was cool. It was cool. I kind of, I, I like that. The, and it the felt episode. like it was, yeah. No, go ahead. <laughs> no, I like the, the whole sh- uh, thing. It felt like the Truman Show, where it's all from the <laughs> point of view of the characters, and nobody knows who's behind watching this whole thing play out until a couple of episodes in. Mm-hmm. But I also love after the Agnes reveal, the episode after that, when they got into Wanda's backstory yes, and good. how she yeah. used to watch all these TV shows, yeah, yeah, to, to like get away from everything that was going on in Slovia and building up to basically how she created the hex. I thought that yeah. was great how they explained everything. Yeah, I thought that was great. I, I like I like I like how they showed the part where the bomb came and it had the Stark logo on it. Yeah, the Street's logo. Yeah, I, I like I like that because that that they had they had said that in Ultron and and, and I the, the fact to see it there was pretty dope, you know, and the way how the stone spoke to her, that was that was incredible. Right. And, and kudos to kudos to Disney Marvel for like the the amount of money that they putting into each damn show because it's looking like. Every epi- like every episode was a movie, you know. It was like, yeah, they're not working was- with the Netflix or the 
Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. budgets. These are the same budgets they use for the theatrical films. Yeah, and, and, and it's probably, they just film it like um, like long-form movies, you know what I'm saying, and just splice it up. Right. But, um, no, my favorite thing on that on that show was episode five, where they showed you everybody coming back from the snap in the hospital. Oh, talk about that. When they, oh, yeah, my when God, my, yeah. When, my, when Monster Rambo re, rematerialized, yeah. that was fire. Mm-hmm. That was fire. That was fire. Yeah, like it, it gives you a whole idea of what was going on. So, from another point know, of view, Hulk just snapped his fingers, and Thanos mm-hmm. is busting the Avengers' ass right now while everybody's in the hospital going crazy that everybody just came back. Like, there's yeah. so many dynamics going yeah. on yeah. from so many movies. Yeah, it, it 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 is it is one of those things that you it would be dope if they show other angles. I've seen stuff on YouTube where they show. When the snap actually happened, have you ever seen that where they 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 post all the different scenes together, and when Thanos snapped in Infinity War, you see the snap effect um, Hawkeye, you see the snap effect um, Ant Man and them when he was under. Oh yeah, I need to see that. Yeah, it was pretty dope. I've seen. Yeah, that. I never saw it, but that that's interesting. Yeah, they timed it up like there's a there's a sequence where they did it like that. You see everything happen as soon as he snaps. It. It's pretty dope. They they need to do one in reverse now when they come back. But um, mm-hmm. we need to see more of Darcy and all this MCU stuff. Darcy was pretty good. I like that amazing character. Yeah, and they and you know what? There's a lot. You know, Darcy and 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 what's his name? What's the FBI guy name again? I forgot. I keep, his name. I keep forgetting. I I know the actress Randall Park. I keep forgetting his name. Well, them two, their 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 chemistry is. It's dope how how he did the card trick. Yeah. And showed him in the movie. Yeah. Marvel gets <laughs> it, man. Marvel just gets it, right? They like, just I get know, it. Again, kudos to Kevin Feige because he must have been reading comic books with us when we were younger. Because yeah, he does get the story. So on point, they get. Well, that's it. his genius. He understood the comic books, but then he also grew up on all these big films and knew how to blend the two together to make the MCU. Every movie feels like a throwback to something we grew up with. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. For sure. So, we got to move on now. I know if y'all want to get anything else in, please do so. Because I want to move on to another Disney property. And I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting to see the kids in the multiverse of madness be a part of Mephisto. So that's it. I think that I think that Nightmare is going to be the villain. And um, I think it's going to be more than just Nightmare. I think it's going to be all the all the um all all the night demons. I forgot what they called them, the shadow demons or something like that. Oh. A group of them. Still have to settle the the Baron Mordo situation, so he's definitely going to be in there. He's going to be there too, and um, America Valdez. She's she she's going to be one of the, um the new Avengers, and she's supposed to come from another universe. So th- this movie's going to be interesting. It, it is, yeah, huge. It's going to be huge. I I um. I know that they already they're already filmed. They're probably almost done, but they're they're in they filmed it in London, right, or something like that. Yeah, yeah. she's doing it. I think it's gonna be it's gonna be epic. I think, honestly speaking, I think that Spider Man and Strange is gonna be like the the main characters that 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 they lean on for this the, the MCU. Especially I, can, I can't wait. I'm excited. Yeah. There's gonna be all three of them. That's the rumor. <laughs> you know, they they did they, they, no, they, there's pictures there's pictures of them on set with Andrew Garfield and Toby Maguire. Nah, I haven't seen that. You gotta send me that. You I, seen that I, other? I, I, they I saw Toby Maguire on YouTube. Picture of Andrew Garfield stuntman. You have? Wow. Yeah, they're his stuntman and then they had a party. And somebody snapped a picture of like these party decorations, and on the decorations, you see the Andrew Garfield suit. And when I saw that, I said, 
whoever took that picture is going to get fired because now it's going to be out there. And it looked like he was hanging off of Dr. Octopus's arm. What's the name of it? No Way Home? No Way Home. Yeah. It's going to be dope because... So since we're dealing with the, with the multiverse, we're, we're kind of thinking that he has no way to get back to Earth 616. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be awesome because... I, you think I don't know. You know what I'm scared of because every time they get near a, a Spider-Man three, because Spider-Man three was was the worst one, and then um the one with Andrew Garfield, they never made it to a three. So this third one, they really have to stick the landing on this one. It has to be really good. I'm kind of scared. I don't know how they're gonna end it because you know Sony gets them after this for the Venom movie. No, nah, I think they renegotiate. He's gonna do more. But no, he's doing there's more, gonna be a new deal to get announced. Yeah, but I know that. Yeah, he does gonna he's gonna cross over for the Venom. I seen that. I heard about that as well. The Venom movie now. The Venom movie was okay to me. Wouldn't the Carnage be such such a character that he gets to get his own movie with Venom? I don't know. But what's his name is 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 Carnage, right? Um, Woody Harrelson. Woody Harrelson. Yeah. Woody Harrison. I mean, I I think that he could play a, a crazy role. We all see. I think he could. I think he could play it. I think yeah, he could play almost be fine. Yeah, he played what? Um, Natural Born Killers. He was crazy in that one, and yeah. and on top of that, his father was a was a serial killer. You know that, right? In real life. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I know that story. Yeah, it's crazy. Bro, from 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 the character that he played on Cheers to his movies now, he can play just about anything. Yeah. Oh yeah, I, no, he, I hope he's it's good in anything. I hope it's good because you know when I saw the trailers for that, I really felt like something was wrong with that movie. Like it just looked low budget to me. It didn't have that. Which movie? Venom. I was okay. I was not a big fan of Venom. It was good for what it was, but. I don't consider it canon because it had nothing to do with the original story of how Venom came to be. Yeah, and then and then what's what's this other story with um um Jared Leto's playing? What's his name? Um, Joker. No, 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 no. no, no. Oh, Morbius. Oh, Morbius. Morbius. Yeah, y'all, 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 would y'all try to test me? I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> He's a Joker. Like, I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> That's a, that's Sony that's Sony Entertainment and yeah, but that's their universe that they're building. But I'm trying to figure out if it has anything to do with the MCU universe because we're getting Blade, and Blade has to deal with. Nah, the it's not. Also. I don't think I don't think it's gonna be a part of the universe. I think it's gonna be like the annex of the of the of the MCU. It's gonna no, be. So this is um is it um what's dude that played Vulture? And Spider Man, Michael Keaton. Yeah, isn't he in the Morbius movie? Yeah, he was in the trailer. Like you see him in the very last shot. Yeah, yeah. So Twister is loosely. Spider Man Three is also supposed to be with the Sinister Six. Yeah, I heard that, but I I I, I, I think it's loosely based. It's it's not going to be truly MCU. It's going to be like adjacent. It's like I don't think Feige is like allowing just anybody to make properties and saying it's MCU, you know what I'm saying? Like uh, only way it's oh, MCU oh, is if you see more than one more than one more than one MCU character in it. Then you'd be like, oh this is properties they have to share though when it comes to Spider Man the actual character. Yeah, but I think it's just anything with with with, with um with Tom Holland. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think that, you know, with this guy, what's his name? Ed Hardy? They don't get nothing from no, him. Ed Hardy is a Ed Tom Hardy, Hardy. brand. Tom Hardy. <laughs> Ed Hardy is the 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 the, the brand. <laughs> Ed, Ed, Ed Hardy is Ed Hardy is the kid looking outside the glass of the MCU building, looking at the party going on, trying to get in. <laughs> <laughs> um, they look like they're having fun over there. <laughs> yeah, but the thing about it, though, when you think about it, they they they're building the because I don't. The, the 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 Venom movie would have never been so whack if it was MCU. No. You know so yeah, no, he he would have been totally connected. Yeah, it would have been connected, and he, he would have had to be one of the kids in high school. 
<laughs> right. It would have made more sense, but whatever. Um, but this Morbius movie, what do you think about that? Do you think that that's going to be good? That looks it looks like another Venom to me. It looks honestly, it looks like um, like they remade Blade. They're like the the Wesley the Wesley Snipes version. Yeah, kind of. And Tyrese is in it. I saw Tyrese was in the trailer too, right? I don't. Be, I don't yeah, know. I forget who he's playing. I don't be thinking Tyrese is a good action a, action um, actor. I don't know. I think he's good in dramas and stuff like good, that. Like good, I, in, good in, in in urban films. I think he's too comedic for like action, like big time action. <laughs> All right, let's move the on. MCU is, the MCU is the creme de la creme of Hollywood right now. It is. Let's move on to Falcon and Winter Soldier. Ooh. All right, let's right. move on. It's heating up. <laughs> All right, so we're, 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 we're <laughs> episode three right now, right? Yeah. All right. All right, right off the back, the first episode, what did y'all think? Like, it just, it, it really just like sprung you into action right away, right? It was exciting. It's like we're back. Yeah, I love that whole sequence. The whole sequence is pretty cool, right? Yeah, him chasing ball truck through the, the the helicopters. That was awesome. Like the whole sequence itself. Yeah, yeah. And 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 they just it's just like it's just again like Marvel Disney, Disney Marvel showing you we got the money to do this shit. <laughs> like they're just Yeah. They're just like we're back we were back in the Marvel hot seat again. We yeah. were back where we were supposed to be. When Falcon and the Winter Soldier open up, because those first five minutes were out of control. Well, Falcon yeah. flying around, uh, catching dudes yeah. out of helicopters. Zoom, yeah. man, he did so much. <laughs> so, what do you think? What do you think about the storyline with this? Because it's 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 moving in a direction that it's not it's un WandaVision like. It's not mystery based. It's more. It plays more like a a buddy cop TV show that we are used to seeing. But it's like it's it doesn't have too much mystery. It there's a little bit of mystery, but WandaVision had all the mystery. You know what I'm saying? Well, so, well here, I got the perfect I got the perfect thing for you. Are are you seeing what um AMC is doing right now with The Walking Dead? How they didn't well, have I don't watch The Walking Dead. I've never seen an episode of The Walking Dead. Oh well let me tell you. This season right now, because COVID was going on. They didn't really have the budget to shoot on their lots and stuff like that. So these episodes that they shot this season are more personal. So it's into like what was going on in between such and such and such and such. So I'm 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 saying this is what we're seeing with the MCU right now. With WandaVision and Falcon and Winter Soldier and what's gonna go on with Loki. We're seeing all the in betweens of what's going on before the big the big bad comes in or the big war that's going to happen. Right. These are all like the shock after effects of what happened after the blip. We need to catch up since everybody went missing for five years. We need to catch up with them and see what's going on and how they reenact with the world. Right. It, 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 it does play like that, but I kind of see that they're trying to do like the lethal weapon thing. I see that's what they're trying to do. Um I I I I like it. I like the show, don't get me wrong. But I don't know, it was just like a, a there's some type of mystique that um fucking WandaVision had that was like, you know, you was like you were so you would like you would look at the cup on the table and be like, maybe they put the cup there because Well, you gotta look at the cup it. like it's like you everything gotta, was a clue. You gotta yeah. look at it like this. Vision was dead. Mm-hmm. All we're thinking about in the first couple of episodes is how was he alive here? Right. Falcon and Winter Soldier. Yeah. It's more like it's it. I feel like they're gonna go racial. That's 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 the that's the tone that I see. But they. That's they my thing. I wanted to get in. Yes. Oh yeah. Go for it, Jerry. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> that what do you think about that? The scene in the bank. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean that 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 was always something that I could see for some time was like you know. These guys are doing so much superhero stuff, but not making money. So somebody like Falcon, like go to a bank and the guy takes a selfie and all, and like, oh, you know, can you help my family, you know, get a loan for their business? Like, 
no, we're, we're screwed because of the, the blip. And the second episode where he gets profiled by cops, now I was like, holy shit, we're, we're really getting real now in the MCU. I worry. Yeah, that was that's crazy. But wait, you missed the biggest, I worry the biggest when they, part. Yeah, go, go ahead, Brad. You missed the biggest part. The black guy that they went to go see was the original Captain America. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. The one that they tested on. Yeah, the government used him and Hydra used him for all those years and then shitted him away. Like he yep. yep, I know. I mean, I think that you know what, these writers that that are that are doing these these stories, they kind of know what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's gonna play out to be um it's gonna play out to be a, a really good episode a, a good series but i it's weird like all right so boom they have all right so they have falcon and they have winter soldier right right then they have then they have the other the um the agent agent um the agent the u.s agent US, u.s agent and then it's an inverse. Yeah, yes. It's a black and white. Then they're gonna have, you know, then they're gonna have the guy that was originally. Um, it's just weird. Like we, they're playing with the race thing. I think that's where they're going with this whole whole thing. And I think that's why. Honestly, I think that's why he put down the shield. I don't think that he he think that the America is is ready for a black Captain America. Yeah, but that's the thing. I think that's what it, it is too. He didn't know there was originally a, a black Captain America. Yeah, he did. If he if he would have known the history, he probably would have dealt with the shield different. Right. Mm-hmm. That's crazy that they're going into race, right? Bro, that's a that was an actual Marvel story. Yeah, that's it's, it's just. It's, but you know, it, it doesn't it doesn't surprise me too much because remember when they announced Phase Four back two years ago at Comic Con. Everybody was saying how some of the movies they announced felt very woke. You know, like we got yeah. Shang Chi, so we have an Asian character. Yeah. Um, Eternals was said to have like a gay superhero in it, and Thor: Love and Thunder. Jane Foster may become the lady Thor, so it's like, oh, we're, we're now going to have more females and more representation. It's good yeah. and bad in a sense because yeah. now yeah. it's just skipping over characters we want. For the sake of inclusion, right? It's the truth. It's the truth. I feel like um, fast forwarding through timelines. I don't know though, because I, I I hope it, I hope they don't do something to say, well, Bucky should have been the C- Captain America, and then it end up being like because I, he was white. In the comic, Bucky did get the shield first. No, I yeah, I know, I know, and. So did Falcon. Falcon had it for a little while too, but I don't know. Yeah. Do you think we're gonna get any big cameos? I know we got um Baron Zemo coming up, but do you think we're getting any bigger cameos besides the Don Cheadle? Not like, until not until a Loki series. I think not until a Loki They're series. They're teasing somebody big. They're teasing somebody that they said could handle Thor, but I don't know who that is. What you mean in inside inside of Falcon and Winter Soldier? Yeah, like there, there's a character they're going to introduce that they think if they put him against Thor, it would be like a tough matchup. What? Well, there is a. Role. I don't know who it is. I I don't think it's anybody we really know. Okay. There is a rumor going around right now that um, what is the guy from um. What was that show on HBO? Um, the The Watchmen. Yeah, yeah. Um, Dude that played that played Mr. Manhattan. Yeah, his name is Yaya. Yeah, he's Yaya. he is supposed to be. Um, oh, who is he? Kang the Conqueror. No, 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 not him. You you, you were missing it. It's from. Um, it's it's the other the guy, guy from Lovecraft Country. Lovecraft Country. You're mixing it up. Lovecraft right. Country. He's gonna play the black guy from there. He's gonna play King. Yeah, he's that, gonna play King. that's not that's not rumored. That's actually that's um official. That's confirmed. Yeah, that's confirmed. Okay. Kevin Feige actually 
said it. That's so. So he's gonna be it. Now that show was pretty good. I didn't get to finish the series. I got up to like I have two more episodes of that one, but he was pretty good in that. So the fact that he's black uh, is that character is, is Kang? You think is a black character? Alien. He's an alien. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. Yeah, I, I don't think it makes a difference who plays it. Like he's an alien. The, everybody's already jumped to the conclusion because he's supposed to turn out to be Reed Richards' father. So if they're going to cast a black Reed Richards, I don't think that's the case. He's going to be motion captured like Josh Brolin with Thanos. Right. Okay. All right. All right. Hope so. It would be dope, though. It would be dope if it was a black one. But I, I do know that they're looking at a John Krasinski for Reed Richards. Then what? That that's what we want, right? Yeah, that's who I want. Is that who you want, um, Mr. Brad? I'm not, sure. I'm not sure who I want for Reed Richards right now. I'm still I, I, I think John Kudinski would be would be dope. He 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 gives off that vibe that he can play off a scientist. He and, does, but that but but also is because um, media has has had his picture around floating for months. For years, actually, not months. Well, crazy. yeah, in in that Reed Richards costume, so it's like, but he it looks good on them though. It does, but it's like branded in your head. So don't be surprised if somebody new pops up to be Reed Richards, and you were like, oh. And then there was that rumor that what's the name was gonna play, um, Sue Storm. Um, what's that girl name from, um, Hunger Games? Oh yeah, she'd be she'd be great. Jennifer yeah, Lawrence. Yeah, Jennifer Lawrence. I don't know. I don't oh, know. Jennifer Lawrence? Oh, not her. What was uh, the? I forgot the other British girl. I don't know about Jennifer Lawrence. Playing. Emily Blunt. Yes. Emily she, Blunt is John Krasinski's wife. He'd be amazing. If they both could come on screen, it would you see the yeah. history. Yeah. But I heard negotiations fell through with her. Oh man. Well, back to Winter Fal- Falcon and Winter. She's Soldier. on a long term. Back to Falcon and Winter Soldier. So, what do you think the plot is? What do you think? What do you think they're gonna talk to Baron Zemo about? What do you think that um these uh, what are they called the, the something snatchers the hand smasher what do they call again the the flag smashers flag smashers yes what do you think what do you think they're getting their powers from? Do you think it's, a, it's the um, the super soldier serum? Do you think that um, Ross gave it to them? I think they're the West, the rest of the Winter Soldier group. Hmm. Those are the leftovers. But she's too young, isn't she? What to be part of the Winter Soldier program? Yeah, that girl, the 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 girl with the freckles. How, how young is Bucky? Okay, so you're trying to say that she, they did it from then? Okay, I get what you're saying. I don't know though, because if you if you think about um Winter Soldier, um the um Captain America's Winter Soldier, when no no not that one, I'm sorry. When you think about Civil War, when Baron Zemo actually found that um that facility, the Hydra facility, there were super soldiers that were supposed to be there, but then he ended up killing them all. Right? Right. And that was the last time that we seen anything with a super soldier. So this serum would have to be from somewhere else. Possibly. There was serum around for a lot of shit. But you always got to relate it all, all the way to the comic, to the, um, to the story. and see what parts of the story they're taking from <laughs> You see, that's the thing. The storyline always changes. Like Marvel doesn't stick to just one storyline. Nah, but you can always see which storylines they're taking from. You always get an idea where they pull any story from. What do you think, Andre? Uh, as far as the super serum. Yeah. What do you think? Where do you think the plot is going? Well, I mean, it's it's going to get to the point where Zemo. Gets out, and he's probably going to be. Um, as far as where it's going, it, it's got. I'm, I'm curious about the the old Asian man who's tied to the guy that Winter Soldier killed, 
and like that whole connection that they have because I think that that leads to something a little bit more deeper that we don't know about yet. Yeah, like he he you think that he really killed him or he probably did something else. You think he died? He killed him. You think he no, killed him? No, I think he did something else. I don't think he killed him. I think, so I think I don't there, was, think there was something else that happened. Yeah, I don't think Bucky really remembers everything. But what he does remember, it probably could be skewed. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's a hard one. That's a that's a hard one. Most of this series is going to be about that damn. Show. I mean, this is a guy that's lived like decades and probably and has never aged. So who knows what he remembers and what he doesn't remember? But do we let's see? You got that Wolverine syndrome. What do you think that? What do you think this is going to end? How are we going to end the series? What do you predict? What is your hot take on the end of the series? What do you feel like it's going to? We're gonna leave this series oh, saying it's gonna oh. become a new cap. You think so? Yeah. He's gonna become a new cap, and then that Spanish yeah. guy that he's with, he's gonna be the new Falcon. Because he's an like actual character Falcon. in the comic. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, we'll see. I I know that the guy's a real character. I know that he's a character from the comic, but we'll see. Marvel has a tendency of going in a direction that we don't see, but okay. Also think that the black Captain America and his whole backstory, it's going to circle back to a Luke Cage setup. I think they're going to retcon Luke Cage's origin story, and Ooh. there's going to be some tie-in with the super soldier serum and having mm. Luke Cage show up in the movie. And I heard these still want the same actor to do it. Mm. Ooh. That'd be cool. Awesome. That'd I like be... those characters that they had on Netflix doing the Marvel. Everybody except for um, Iron Fist. Iron Fist. Iron Fist was good, but his, I don't know, maybe it was the writing, because the second season just didn't do it for me. I didn't see the second season. I didn't it's it's the writing and the actor. Danny, and Danny he didn't have Bur the costume. Definitely yeah, costume. I don't know, but I, I, I really hope that this series is gonna be everything that I want. Because I, I know they're gonna end up somewhere in the in X Men, X Men um town or some 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 town that was an X Men, right? Something like that. Like, yeah, it was like thing. some Asian land that's related to Wolverine. Um. Mm. They better, they better play. Like I'm watching it because it's Marvel and I love it, you know. But I wanted to, I wanted to pan out to be. Everybody wants the X Men so soon. They just finished with this whole Phoenix saga. We gotta let the X Men die down for a minute. No, not even that. But at least hit to it. You know what I'm saying? Give us. You don't gotta bring them in, but give us like something to to hold on to. Like, oh man. You know, I was like, let talk about antimanium, antimantium. I just hope, look, I'm just hoping that Rogue is the villain in Captain Marvel too. That would be dope, and that's how she gets her fucking powers. Because yeah. that story. I still think it, it's going to go the route of they're just they're going to sprinkle the characters into individual movies like they did with Black Widow and Iron Man too before they start to bring them all together. The yeah. X Men. I would, I would love that. I would love that. I would love them to, to focus on like Gambit. I heard I put, they want to make um Professor X and Magneto black. Okay. There's been that I mean, rumor, and I don't know if they're gonna go really gonna do that. I want to see how that would work. See, that's you know, I and, and kudos to everybody who be like, yo, that'd be dope. It's cool, you know. I'm black, so I want to see that, but. I'm all right with them being who they are in the comics. Like, you know, like, come on. Like, what the f you know, I'm okay. You know, like, it's cool. Like, whatever. I'm being honest. Like, you know, yeah, they, like. The, they don't need to do inclusion at every term because they have so many white characters. It's kind of like you, you do that and you, you start messing up the, you start messing up the whole feel of this shit. Like it's 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 cool, but it's I cool. Like wow, oh my gosh, he's black now. But yeah. it's kind of like when we saw um that that Fantastic Four and uh, Michael B. Jordan was was um Michael B. Jordan, yeah. Bla 
Who's not Johnny? Johnny Blaze? No, not Johnny. I'm saying Johnny, Johnny Storm. Storm. Johnny Storm. What the hell am I saying? Yeah, Johnny Storm. And um, and the father, the father was um, what's her name was was white, but she was uh, adopted. Like it was, it was cool. Yeah, but it's too Storm. Just give me the fucking story that we all want. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't mind if the thing, if yeah. they do the Plus thing. Plus, they had a hard time thing. promoting that. Yeah. The thing, the thing could be black. We we'll just chalk that up to another multiverse. Yeah. All right. So, I think we're done with um, Falcon and the Soldier. <laughs> All right, so let me ask y'all: Did y'all see any of the new trailers that's coming out? Any new trailers? What's the latest trailers you see? Latest trailers. What did I just Black see? Widow. The Black What's Widow the... trailer. Yeah, What's Black Widow. Was... You want to talk about Black Widow? Because they they're talking that's gonna be on Disney Plus. Yeah, and what June, July? We've been waiting for that for months. July. Yeah, they they pushed it up. Waiting for that for months. It was supposed to be next uh, May, and now it's July. They figure more people will show up to the theaters. Yeah. Oh, what did y'all think about um? What was that movie? What was that last X Men movie that just came out? I didn't see New Mutants. I didn't watch it yet. You didn't see it? Nah. We it talk it. I'm gonna watch it. I didn't like it. Andre, you didn't like it, right? I didn't say you didn't like it. I thought it, I did not like it at all. It was better than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> he said he said it again. He doubled down on it. He said I did not like it at all. <laughs> um, I'm gonna watch it. I want to see it because I want to. I want to. I want to be my own critic of that. You know. But um, Fox just just doesn't know how to end the movie. That's their biggest problem. <laughs> all right, so. I did see a trailer this oh, week. What about oh, the Suicide, Suicide Squad trailer? Suicide Squad, yes. That's the one I saw. Oh, I didn't yeah. like it. I didn't like that trailer. Holy shit. Um, you didn't like it? I didn't like that trailer. Really? Wow. I didn't like it. As I crazy like as it says, I thought it looked better than Deadpool. You think it looks better than Deadpool? Oh, I'm not going to say that. I, I know that's a crazy thing to say, but that, that was the vibe that I got. I don't yeah. know. I, I just didn't like it. It's yeah, good. Like it. It's 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 on dead it's on Deadpool scale. Yeah. I think a Deadpool I think the next I, I, ooh, the next Deadpool movie might even beat it. Beat it into dirt. <laughs> Cause I don't know. I, I, I just you know, even King Shark, I just I didn't like him. That was the thing I love about King Shark. He's their group. I know, but it's just it's it's just like, come on, man. I don't know. It just just didn't. It's it's Stallone. Stallone, I know. Stallone is 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 the voice, but it just didn't do it for me, man. Y'all, y'all, you liked it, Brad? Yeah. I gotta wait till this comes out. I mean, not just. What is it? Years hit? ago with uh, Will Smith. I don't hmm. know. I just, I just don't. I don't know. There's the Harley Quinn. I like Harley Quinn. I like. She's the best Harley Quinn they had. I don't know. It's just something about it. Just feel a little bit like it. Feel a little, a little corny. No, y'all don't see the corniness. Because uh, James Gunn. No, I like James Gunn. Come on, he did Guardians of the Galaxy Part uh, Volume One and Volume Two. I like what he did, but I'm just saying. I just uh, I he's working know. on three now, right? Yeah, they're working he on three. You gotta see the he's super. That, that was like a really amazing film. Which one? And it's on that level where it's like it, it's pulpy and gory. It's super. It had the guy from I The did. Office that plays Dwight. Yeah, yeah I saw. And, and Kevin Bacon was the yeah. bad guy. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. that yeah, was no, it, it, that's what it reminded me of. Oh, speaking of reminding, um, I forgot one thing about WandaVision. I did not know that Quicksilver from the MCU and Quicksilver from the Fox universe are both characters from Superbad. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Yeah, that's that's actually a, a a deep cut right there. That's crazy. Yeah, I didn't realize that until when they they brought it up. That's pretty pretty cool. Um. But this the the trailer the 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 trailer was okay, Andre. I'm not. I wasn't. I wasn't really like. I wasn't. It didn't have me like. I, I didn't watch it like three times. You know, like when when this. More blown um, away by it. Yeah, like you know when a trailer is dope and you watch it and you're like, oh my gosh, I gotta see that again. Like when I saw Batman, the new Batman with um with J- with the Patterson. Hated it. I, I, you didn't oh, like that trailer. Patterson. Hated it. You hated it? I liked it. It had like a seven vibe to it. Oh man! I liked the car. I like the whole aesthetic look. I just don't like Pattinson as <laughs> as Bruce Wayne. All right, I I, 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 I I could I could get with you with that a little bit. He but just giving me too much. Think that story was true that he was having sex with Zoe Kravitz on the Batmobile. Nah, I don't know about that. I don't know. But I'm just saying, <laughs> I really like that trailer. I watched that trailer like ten times when it came out. Just to get some views for his movie. That trailer wasn't dope to you, <laughs> dope, um, um, Brad. No, no. You crazy when he was beating down the dude? It was cool, but no, he just didn't look believable doing it. I mean, he's in the fucking Batman suit. I mean, how believable you gonna be? You know what do you mean? Everybody that's put on that Batman suit has been believable. They got the Riddler as the they have the Riddler as the villain. Come on, it's a different take on this shit. Bro. Yeah, it's Gotham. And Colin Farrell's the Penguin. He doesn't even look like Colin Farrell. He didn't look like Colin Farrell. I think it's I I, I enjoyed that trailer. I am not gonna sit here and lie to y'all. I enjoyed that trailer. I'm I'm I'm. How you feel about Suicide Squad trailer is how I feel about the Batman trailer. What? <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. But um, all right, let's move on. Move on to my next one. Zack Snyder's Justice League. <laughs> we moving over to the DC, baby. We going to DC, Maryland. Now we go to DC right now. Listen. I've been waiting, and Andre knows this. I've been waiting for this, 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 this movie. I think we, Andre and I spoke about it briefly, but we didn't get in. We didn't get in depth. I'm gonna tell y'all this. I'm very biased, okay, with this one. Tell it. Superman is my favorite character. I love Batman. I love this Ben Affleck Batman. I'm not gonna lie. Um. I love Zack Snyder's movies. The only movie I don't like by Zack Snyder is, is Super uh, Sucker Punch. I love Sucker, Sucker Punch. Punch. Yeah, I like Sucker, that. Sucker Punch was a good to me. And 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 I and I and I say that with I got to watch Sucker Punch again cuz I probably seen it only one time or two times. Mm-hmm. I got to watch it again. I think I've seen it once. I got to watch it again. Maybe I didn't watch it properly. But um Great movie. Zack Snyder's Justice League. I think the story behind it of how it was crowdfunded, where people came together to get it to come out, the story behind it is so intriguing and such a dope um, show of the fans really can control the narrative if we come together. Zack Snyder's vision of the Justice League came together so well. There might be some plot holes here and there, but the but I felt like I saw a whole different movie compared to the 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 trash Whedon one that we saw before. Ooh, preach on, preach on. Because the first one was, you know, you they botched it. They botched it so much. And, and they do this a lot with, with, with Zach because Batman versus Superman, the theatrical version, was was cut up like no other, and I enjoyed it, but the theatrical version was nothing compared to the ultimate version that they put on DVD, which is the the longer one, and it has it that gives you more. 
in 15 minutes with some it, shit. It gave, it gave you some extra. Come on, the way that Zach opened up Batman versus Superman when when Batman is running to 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 the Wayne building and the, the whole city is getting blown up by fucking Zod and Superman fighting. Oh, yeah. You see it from that perspective. That was so fire. Now let me fast forward to this one. Just as I said, the Justice, the Justice League, the the Zack Snyder's Justice League. The way they opened it with Superman dying, and his the waves. It made sense. It made sense why the mother boxes were oh, were, were were alive. Like in the other one, we didn't get that. We just was like, oh, they're turning on. Like <laughs> you know, like this. It made no sense to me. The other one, like you can't tell me why they turned on. You know, and the humor that was in the theatrical version of Justice League was so off. I, I I really hate how they did when Flash fell out yeah. the the thing and he fell on top of Wonder Woman and he that shit was so fucking corny. <laughs> then the, that that scene in the bank with Wonder Woman, like the, the 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 Zack Snyder version, made me like look at it like yo. I mean, there was a lot of slow motion though. There was a lot of slow, like this guy did a mad slow motion in um in this version, Zack Snyder. But that version where where you see Wonder Woman catching the bullets, yeah, I could, I could watch that all fucking night, man. But I ain't gonna talk too much. So much what did, context. What do you, what did what did y'all like about it, and what y'all didn't like about it? Let me start with Andre because I Andre was telling me something before, but he never got to finish. So tell me, I know you have your your reservations for this for this for this four hour four hour. I needed two more. <laughs> Go ahead. I thought that um, huge improvement over what Whedon put out. I, that, the Whedon movie was downright terrible. This had a lot more to say. Plots made sense. And also, let's just say the two things I didn't like. I thought they could have trimmed it a little bit. There were some fatty parts they could have taken out. And I also did not like the music. I, I thought over dramatic music for some of the fight scenes of the singing and the emo Leonard yeah. Cohen shit, they could have done without I, it. I, I preferred the Danny Elfman music from Sweden Cut. But that all right, all right. said... I'll give you that. I'll yeah. give you that. Go ahead. Go, go, go. But that said... That said though out to me with Cyborg. I thought he was the real heart and soul of the film in terms of just his whole arc, the the dynamic with his father, and, you know, just the, the tragic story around him that I think the Whedon cut just gave him a raw deal and severely destroyed that character. Here you got more full focus who he is and he became like really the heart of the film like he was more interesting than yeah. anybody else yeah yeah he, he really he really did it was like it was his story arc that um that really like that really um helped the whole movie it was like it was rooted in 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 cyborgs like and, and it's just a shame that it got it got cut out in the in the in the theatrical version because I think that 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 actor he would have seen more work after that, like you know like oh yeah they screwed him they screwed him bad and and that, and you could I could see why he why he went so hard at like Josh Josh Sweden and and um Jeff Jones and Jeff John sorry Jeff Jones I be messing <laughs> I be messing up everybody <laughs> um. um I, I could see why he went so hard after them, but um, man, this movie, I got to see Martian Manhunter. I, I didn't know, I didn't think I was gonna see him. You know, <laughs> you didn't even know that guy was Martian Manhunter the whole no, time. No, and that, and that's a good, and that's yeah. how good the story was. And let me tell you something, the storyline was so good that. 
even even in the epilogue where they were doing the thing in the in the you know in um when it was on apocalypse or that no that was earth that was earth i'm sorry and it was um the next version i mean it was one of, apocalypse came yeah it was it was it was like a new movie right there at that point like i felt like we were seeing injustice. Like it was, it's about that. That movie was about to start. Like I was yeah. ready. Like you, like like you said, you wanted two more hours. Like I was ready for that movie right there. You know, like like the way it was going, <laughs> it was just going. It was just like, yo, they're giving me everything I need in this. You know, like the fight to see when you see Apocalypse underwater and his um his beams is going. I was like, yo, I get to see this. You know, and then um. What what else what else what else that was dope? Um, well, the the altered version of the Deathstroke cameo at the end because they changed the was, dialogue. If you notice, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was supposed to set up Ben Affleck's Batman movie. Yeah, man. Oh, wow. I, I really like. I really. I think, and this is the thing that I'm I'm gonna I, I want to get my rant off with this one. I think that Warner Media. Is really stupid at this point because you can't have yes you cannot have a theatrical version that does bad and then you talk shit about this whole fucking franchise talking about you want to reboot it and you're gonna change everything and you want to go light you want to go fucking light with um with with Shazam and you want to go with Aquaman and you want to give us this fucked up Wonder Woman movie that we didn't ask for it to be so corny and you have a hit on your hand you have Zack Snyder's Justice League four hours of fucking great story and they wrote a Justice League 2 and 3 already he had the storyboards up on the fucking wall he was ready for this fucking War. I'm sorry I'm cursing a lot, but I'm upset. They're going to say that they're not going in that direction? What is up with them? You know, not to mention everybody's backstory that they added into the movie. Like, you finally saw Iris West. Come on. <laughs> from The Flash. Yeah. Come on. Like, like, that was dope. How, how do you not go in that direction? How do you not say, let me, let, let us, let... Say something like this. Okay, we're not going to release it theatrical. Let's keep it on HBO Max. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Mm-hmm. I'm happy with them giving giving Zach a fucking budget for him to do. Yeah, do whatever he want. A, a, part, a part two to this and give us that nightmare sequence fully. Give us the flash going back two, three times and fucking up and coming back to the... Hold up, hold up, hold up. Can we say that that was one of the most pivotal moments of the movie that Joss Whedon cut from the movie is how Flash powers work in the movie? Come (laughs) on! Come on! Yo, I mean, like, I watched the... We all watched The Flash on, on, on CW, right? Oh, yeah. And he... And, and that Flash is dope. And I've, I've I've been like, yo, this is dope. This is dope when I see it. But the way that they did The Flash in this one, he was... Like, the fact that he was running, and while he's running, you see the past building as every step he was taking. Come on. That was fire. Like, that was... That was I, I never, but look at the deep, the deeper story behind that. He didn't want to do it because he knew that was going to change the timeline, even if he like did that for a second. Who are you talking about? Flash. This is why they're setting up um, the Flashpoint movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and now I'm hearing now I'm hearing uh, Michael Keaton might not even do it because he was supposed to be. Yeah, because like, they don't have a cohesive plan. Like, they want to rush into shooting it. And he's like, well, go out there. I'm not comfortable going out and filming. And, and the, 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 thing that, the thing that gets me mad, right? The thing that gets me mad, right? That gets me really mad is that Zack Snyder is equivalent 
I'm not going to say exactly, but he is their Kevin Feige on that side that they need to like just lean into. He already had Man of Steel, Batman versus Superman. He's the one that cast Aquaman. He's the one that cast Wonder Woman. He's the one that cast all of these people that we are used to right now. Just give this guy creative control. And, like, come on, man. Every time Warner Brothers, and you realize, do you realize that they, they changed it to Warner Media because they wanted to be they wanted to be woke? They didn't want it to be brothers anymore. Now, that, now it's Warner Media. Mm-hmm. That's even fucking corny because yeah. this Warner Brothers was always the the WB was always the thing that we said from the kids. But anyways, Warner Media has really messed up every movie. Every every I'm not gonna say every movie, but they've messed up the DC EU. Like they anytime they put their hand into it, the movie ended up getting messed up. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like. This one was a raw, uncut version from Zach. This is why it played out so well. You know, like it, it, it was. It was. I, I enjoyed it. You know, like they could we be. We almost like, thought there was never going to be anything better than that Batman Dark Knight trilogy. Right. Right. Well, I'm not going to say this is better than the, the Christian Bale version. Um, I'm not gonna say that it's it's close. It's close. I mean, that was Justice League as a whole movie is on par with it, though. Yeah, as it, yeah, it is. It is the Justice League is on par with that one movie. Yes, but Christopher Nolan really I'll put his say like all right. Like I'll say where I think Warner Brothers is really screwing up. I read an interview with the actor that plays Deathstroke, uh, Joe Mangliano, or however you say his last. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He was talking about what's supposed to be for the Batman movie based on that ending of Lex Luthor telling him that the Batman is Bruce Wayne. That Batman movie yeah. was supposed to lead to death totally fucking up Bruce Wayne's life. He was bankrupt yeah. him. He was going to kill the people that he loves. He was strip this guy down to barely nothing and be his worst nightmare. When I heard that scenario, I said, that's the movie I want to see. I want to see that yeah. Batman film, something different than the typical origin for him just fighting another bad guy, because that yeah. makes it more interesting. It does. It does. It gives you another. It gives you another. It gives you another. What angle. is Batman like without without all the usual stuff that he survived? Right. And Warner yeah. is just totally coming up with this incohesive plan. It's ridiculous. Yeah, man. I mean, listen. I would love to do business with Warner Brothers. I'm the, I, I, listen, I just think that the choice that they're making with with this franchise, this 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 imprint, this IP that they have, it's not doing it's not doing us any justice. <laughs> no pun intended. No. It, it's 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 literally it's it's literally like. Come on, like the fans are saying that they want it. Like it's not like it's like a speculation, and they were like, "Well, it did okay." Do we greenlight something? No, everybody said like if you Rotten Tomatoes like gave it a good rating. Like, come on, and they'd be hard on a lot of people. Like, what else do you need? Like, just do the next one. Justice League movie was so good, they released it again on HBO Max in black and white. Exactly. They double, <laughs> double dipping. They double dipping. Something that oh, they wasn't man. even supposed to be doing. That was not going to come out. They double dipping. Man, I really, I, that really got me so upset, man. Like, Look, really even upset. the Aquaman scene had, had more context. Like, you didn't even realize that um, his mother's friend came to see him when he was underwater. Right, 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 right. Like that whole scene wasn't even in the Joss Whedon. No. And, and why would you cut? You know what? You know, even in the bank scene, right? In the bank scene, in the bank scene where Homeboy uh, was about to kill when he, you know, when when she kills the um the guy, when she, oh Andre fell out, damn. Um, in the bank scene where. 
she when she she does the thing with her um her her bracelets and the guy goes through the window, right? And then she goes back and she sees the little girl, and she says to the little girl, um, the little girl is scared, and she goes and she says, um, you could be whatever you want. That was like such an up, uplifting part for yeah, a little. Yeah, that was girl. um, that was and 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 it was the right time when that movie had came out because it was the woman empowering movement going right. on. So right. that scene would have been perfect for shit, and they cut that scene out. I don't understand why they would cut that out. Like that, that's perfect for you know, little girls want to be superheroes. Like, come on, that would have been perfect. Why are you cutting that out? And then now I'm hearing the versions of X Men movies. That's why. Josh, Josh Sweden, Josh Sweden, um, Josh Whedon. I keep saying Sweden. Josh Whedon. He's. He, <laughs> I heard that he um he's getting flack from Buffy the Vampire Slayer that he was like toxic on that set and. And it's a whole bunch of shit. Like he is just coming out. Like it's not good, man. It's not good at all. It's not good. I just don't. I, I just he, don't. He, he almost tanked. He's way. done. People used to like sing tank. his praises, but he's finished. Yeah, he's done. I don't know, man. Like I, I, I really enjoyed that movie, man. Like I feel like, you know, and 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 like like Zack Snyder said, it's a it's a perfect storm of how it happened. Like if it, we didn't get the pandemic, we would have never got this. You know what I'm saying? If we didn't have the pandemic, we would have right. never got this movie. So That's everything true. happened, and because it happened, now, now let's just like like lean into it, because it would make honestly if they come out tomorrow and say, "Yo, Justice League, Justice League Two, Zack Snyder's Justice League Two is coming next year," everybody's gonna keep their damn um subscription right so, so it's like are they gonna go ahead with this robert pattinson batman and make another movie after this one or are they go, or are they gonna go back to the ben affleck with the whole justice league thing i don't know because that that's that's how they're getting too mixy too they do batman is the most interchangeable character in the dc universe i don't like it man i don't like how they're getting so mixy imagine we have three different and they want to do a black oh. superman yeah Imagine if we got three different Tony Starks. Will we be happy? Mm-hmm. Nope. Come on, like, no. like, what? Why are they doing this? Like, yo, you just can't get us used to a character and then snatch him away. Like Ben Affleck, he did his thing with this. I, I at first I was like, uh, when when, yeah, when well, the crazy part is when Josh Whedon put the movies out, we didn't like Ben Affleck. The Zack Snyder versions made us like Ben Affleck. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, because what that Batman scene, Batman vs Superman, where Batman went to go save uh, Martha Kent, and he was fighting in yeah. the um mm-hmm. house. I was like, yo, there was such more con, such much more context to Batman vs Superman, Zack Snyder version, like that yeah. was crazy. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. I said, oh, that's the reason he's here. It makes sense now. Oh, okay. Here's the thing that, that really drives me nuts, too, is that when they put out Justice League, I mean, it crashed HBO Max. They, they were like, over a million people in five minutes went to go and watch that movie once it dropped. And this is what I know it definitely overtook Falcon and Winter Soldier in terms of views and Twitter mm. feeds and so forth. You can't ignore that. That's money on the table right there. Mm. Dre, this is what I'm saying to you, right? They don't have a game. They don't have a Game of Thrones no more. Like this could be their Game of Thrones if they really do it. If they do it right, you know Yo, what I'm saying? The Twitter and in that rumor was so sick. They was like the um, Justice League four hour version did so well that the Russo brothers are talking about they're willing to release the six hour version of Avengers Endgame. How would that even be possible? You're lying to me. I didn't see that. You got to send me the tweet. Go on, what happened to the other three? Six-hour no. version. Six-hour six hour version of Avengers Endgame. Do you know how crazy that sounds? That just sounds ridiculous. Do you know how much more shit? <laughs> no, they did cut out a lot of shit out of it. We all know they did. They, they cut out. They, they cut out the, the the snap when um 
when um, Thing died, what's his name? And he saw his daughter, um, Tony Stark, remember? Yeah, his yeah. older, as an adult, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff they did cut out of it. Did, did you ever see that 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 um scene where where um Black Widow, she she they showed the other scene of them coming and shooting after them at, at um before she died. What was that that place where she did the Soul Stone when she I sacrificed see. herself? Oh, I I, I yeah, didn't oh, man. there was a second. Oh, there was I a, didn't see that scene. Yeah, I saw it. You I see, you I see, see um. You see the the Black Order. That's what they call, right? The Black Order. Uh-huh. They come. Yeah. They come there, and you you see um them shooting after them, and she 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 jumps off the cliff. That's and I don't know, but this was a good talk, and I I enjoyed this tonight. I don't know if y'all did. Either. Yeah. Oh yeah. I I loved it. <laughs> We gotta keep. We gotta. We gotta keep this up. We've been t- been here for an hour and twenty minutes, and I think we could go longer, but it's a lot of other stuff. So we gotta do our homework. Andre, you gotta watch um, King Kong versus Godzilla. Godzilla versus King Kong, That's whatever it is. And um, that was some badass but, shit, boy. That was some badass some, shit. There was something else that I was supposed to watch. I don't know what it is. You know, I never really paid attention that those movies tied together. Oh, all of the, all of the, um, the, the, the Godzilla and the skull. I never, I never paid attention to it, and then I watched all of them the other night. You know that Marvel set it off with this universe shit, man. Yeah, they did. They really set it off. They, they, we've had universes before with certain movies, but not like this. Never. They always, they always die out. And then you you always left to wonder, are they in the same universe? Yeah. Like fifteen years later, you'd be like, yeah, well, this character was in this movie, so that's the same yeah. universe. Yeah. Which is whack. But Marvel is really doing the damn thing. Yeah. Oh, and shout out to Kevin Feige again for his new Star Wars universe. Because what the fuck he did in the Mandalorian last episode? No, no, he's he's not he's not behind that. Let's 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 let's. let's oh yes let's, yes he is. No, he's not. No, he's not. It's that I, girl he was is. There, there, I, there's some truth that he is. He's consulting. But isn't, isn't that what the woman what's the name, something Kennedy? Um, Kevin Feige always wanted, yeah, she's always a wanted to shit, deal with though. Star Wars. She, she's fucking it up. Yeah, she's the one that's fucking it up. What's her name? Jane, um, so, I'm going to say J.B. Kennedy. I'm going to throw people's names around. Is that, <laughs> I said J.B. Kennedy. What's her last name? <laughs> Kennedy, something Kennedy though. I'm she tell you right she now. took over for George Lucas and then tried to like make his vision woke. Screwed up Luke Skywalker and you know made Ray too powerful. They had a great setup with the Force Awakens and then they screwed it up on the Last Jedi. Kathleen Kennedy, Kathleen Kennedy. And then they rushed. They yeah. rushed the last movie. But but let's like, like they no, tried they, to fit two to movies in one movie. It was too late. Let's talk about let's talk about how Luke Skywalker came through and saved the motherfucking day in Mandalorian though. Well, this confirms what I've been telling people about the Mandalorian timeline that this is five years after Return of the Jedi. Is it? Yes. I know it's after but yeah, Andre, it's after Jedi. Yeah, I know that I thought you said it's between this, Return is, five, of- this is five years after. After he just finished killing Vader. Yes, 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 yes. You're right, you're right. I'm, I'm thinking something else. I knew it was after that, but I thought it was closer. I thought it was, I didn't think it was five years. What do you think about them firing that girl? What's her name? The girl that played it. Oh, Gina Carano? Yeah. Shouldn't have said what she said. These people need people are... Yeah, I mean, the, the, the people are upset with her getting fired, but what she said was stupid. You know, it's, it's, I don't like to get into the politics stuff, but sometimes, you know, trying to like say, oh, we're, we're going to compare Republicans with, that's a poor choice of words, honestly. You could have made a better, uh, you know, connotation of some kind, and that, like, that, that, that automatically gets you canceled. 
Yeah. I'm not mad at her being fired. She should have known she should have known better. She's a celebrity. Celebrities at some point you're not a regular person no more, so you should know better. Whether you need a PR around you 24/7 or just don't say nothing on the internet, you should know better. I mean, oh, did, I'm sorry. I'm looking at other things. Yes, yeah, so I know is conservative. He does say shit. It's the truth. It's the truth. What do you think about um, Mortal Kombat? I think it's gonna be dope, but I'm not excited. I don't know why I'm not excited to see. Because it. we don't got Mortal Kombat. <laughs> They're not screaming that shit. Dun, dun, I want to see dun, it. Dun, dun. Huh? Would you say? I Jordan? think it's gonna be good. But I don't like that they. Have You're breaking up. Have like completely new characters to lead. Like it's, 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 they just create like I'll do like MMA fighter that's supposed to be the main guy, not Luke Kang, not Johnny Cage. Like what the hell's that? Right, 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 right. It's like what they did with coming to America. Oh man, let's let's let's, let's, <laughs> let's give a moment of silence for that shit. I don't know what. Wait got a minute, it. wait a minute, wait a minute, Tama. What did you expect it to be? It was going to be a parody of the first one. I, I I just I just think it was uh, I did, they should have done, never did it. I just think it was. Um, I didn't think it, it was, was terrible, B- but I didn't like the PG thirteen B- rating. Movie. Say it again. You said it was a BET movie. movie? Right. Yeah, it was a BET movie. They're gonna play this after Baby Boy in two years. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny, sir. That is so funny. Um, uh, all right, man. I mean, I got nothing. But you know, all jokes with the barber shop and you know uh, Randy Watson. Like he was doing, it was like Saturday Night Live. He was doing all his old hits, like when he did his uh, guest. Mm-hmm. That was yeah, funny, he- but I want to see new characters. I didn't want to see him do the same old shit. Right. Yeah. You're right. It's like he ain't got nothing left. Like he got no other. Oh, but like was great in Dolomite. What happened? Dolomite was good. Did you did y'all see the trailer for um for, old school Eddie Murphy right there? I think it was the budget. The budget, right? The budget would it wasn't I think it, it was the budget. It didn't feel grand. It did not because it was in Rick Ross script. Yeah, it was. Yeah, they it shot all feel, Atlanta. It didn't feel grand like how the first one. They didn't shoot did. New York. You know the ward off. Remember when they were in the world off the ward off um, hotel? It was like, yeah, yeah. It felt grand. It felt big. It, it, this one didn't feel big. Um, what about? Uh, did y'all see the trailer for Saw? The new Saw. No, Chris, I, I didn't know they were still making those. Yes. Chris Rock and Chris Rock and Samuel L. Jackson. Oh man, I gotta see the trailer. That was crazy. I'm very curious about that one. Yeah. The trailer Just those two names alone made me curious. Samuel it's Jackson and the Ball movie. I, yeah. I've been hearing people talk about this, but I haven't read up on it. That they're gonna do a Thundercats movie. Did you hear about this? Yeah, yeah, whatever. I believe it when it's like broadcasted like all around. I'm tired of hearing that shit because Brad Pitt was supposed oh to be Lionel. I'm, I'm reading. I'm reading it right here, and it's gonna be on fucking Warner Brother. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be on Warner Brother. If they fuck up Thundercats, from what me. makes you think they're not gonna fuck up Thundercats? If they mess up, I'd even tell Drip. I'd rather know. I'd rather see Netflix do Thundercats live action. Netflix movies. Be Everybody worries it's going to look like the Cats movie. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to play Panthro? Idris Elba? <laughs> <laughs> probably play Panthro for all I know. Oh, man. They saying I think they're saying the same guy that did Kong, um, King Kong, uh, Godzilla versus King Kong, David, Cole something. That'd be dope. I mean, 
His shit kind of looked like Michael Bay, but with like more story. That you could act, it's actually cohesive. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I, remember, I remember when I first saw the first, the first Transformers, I was like, what am I looking at? That's not a Transformers. I was like, I was like, I just saw like metal in my face like, <laughs> moving around, crushing metal. I was like, what am I looking at here? I didn't Yo, know. By, the third, by the third movie, I gave up, B. It was all digitized metal. The shit go from like fucking nanobots. And I was like, I'm done. He killed my whole Transformers. But that body. Bumblebee movie, the first that three minutes fresh. were better than any Transformers movie. Yeah. Yo, I said that. I said that was the best Transformers movie ever. <laughs> like live action. Yeah, when he fight on Cybertron. Why didn't he get that film? <laughs> Yo, that should be canon. <laughs> that shit was amazing. That Bumblebee movie was yeah. amazing. They started off on Cybertron. Everybody looked real. <laughs> yeah, it looked. Yeah, it was good. Like they were like yo, that old was Transformer than design. Transformers movie. Yeah, it was. It it, it they did they yeah. with that one. And it because that wasn't Michael Bay. That was and then not- it broke down why Bumblebee couldn't talk. How he lost his voice. Like it was so dope. Right. It made sense. Sometimes it just takes us a a, 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 di- a a director that has like dialogue. <laughs> no, that has like you know, so, like it doesn't, it doesn't need a big name director to do it. And then you know that's the form the formula like um di- um Marvel does. They don't really they get big names, but they always get up up and coming people who are like cutting cutting edge. Like you know yeah. Ryan Ryan Kluger. Kl- 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 I can't say his name. Kluger. Kl- Kl- yeah, that guy. Kl- <laughs> he um he was like you know he had did a lot but it wasn't it wasn't like big name you know what I'm saying he was still on the come up and what he did with with Black Panther was crazy and you know same thing they with Taika Waikiki what's his name <laughs> yeah Taika Waikiki yeah he wasn't a big name right well even the like the he Russo brothers they people. were like comedy directors. Right, and he did. He did. He did. Um, Thor Ragnarok, right? Yeah, uh, he was great with that. Like, they give you these actors that, like, I think it's Kevin Feige's eye, though. Like, he knows, he knows who to get. You know.